the president called a conference of Secretary Stimson, Secretary Hull, Secretary Knox, Admiral Stark, and General Marshall at 3 o'clock. During the conference, the news kept coming in, indicating more and more damage to the fleet. The president handled the calls personally on the telephone with whoever was giving the dispatches. Most of them came through the Navy. Churchill called from England. The president told him that we were all in the same boat now and that he was going to Congress tomorrow. The president discussed at length with Marshall the disposition of the troops and particularly of the Air Force, and with Hull the urgent necessity of keeping all of the South American republics not only informed but to keep them in line with us. The president ordered the Japanese embassy and all of the consulates in the United States to be protected and ordered all Japanese citizens to be picked up. There was some discussion about the president's message to Congress. The president expressed himself very strongly that he was going to submit a precise message. Hull urged very strongly that the president review the whole history of the Japanese relations in a strong document that might take half an hour to read. The president objected.